Hey guys, welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian. I bumped into Kyle Fowler this year at Oshkosh 2019. He's a young, upcoming Long Easy aerobatic pilot. He flies a yellow Long Easy. You can't miss it on the field. It's the brightest aircraft out there. Uh, anyway, I had a chance to interview him, get kind of the backstory on how he got into the, the business, if you will, and the different air shows and venues he flies at. So that's coming up in this episode. I also wanted to highlight a fellow creator and photographer, a guy by the name of Michael Nuvian, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he did a, a story. He did a story on Kyle not too long ago and had some great B-roll. So if you stick around to the end, I want to share that with you. And you can follow Michael Nuvian on social media on Instagram at Michael Nuvian. Check him out. If you're new to this channel, I invite you right now to hit that subscribe button and help me build this channel and help me reach more people to get involved in experimental, light sport, and ultralight aviation. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. Kyle, how did, how did you get started in aerobatics? Well, how I got started, well, first of all, my dad, Ken Fowler of Team Rocket, has been doing air shows for 21 years. So I've been going to air shows ever since I was uh, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, and back when I was 12, I can't remember the year now, when I was 12, I was down at the Copper State Air Show, and the announcer, TK Harris, he said, hey, Kyle, how about you just hop on the, uh, hop up on the announcer stand with me, and you can see what it's like up from my point of view. I said, yeah, sure, I got nothing to do when Dad's flying, I'll go up there. And he started talking to me and got me comfortable on the stand, and then he stuffed the microphone in my face while my dad was flying, and all of a sudden, I was announcing my dad's air show. And then from there, everybody loved it so much that dad's like, Kate, you gotta announce my shows now. Which was great because now I had a leg up on my two brothers and I got to go to the shows that I wanted to go to and I got to go above them first. Uh, and that's kind of how I got started. Um, so wait, where, where are you from and where oh, are you based? Oh, where am I from? Uh, Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, just northwest of Calgary, Alberta, small little town. A uh, nice little airport where we have a lot of freedom to, to, to do what we like with aerobatics without getting too many complaints. <laughs> okay, and, and what other venues might you be at this year or, or, or even 2020? What do you have lined up? Oh, 2020, well, I'm hoping to be back here. Uh, possibly sun and fun. I've got a few shows. We'll find out in December when I actually uh, create my show. This year, I've got a couple more shows up in, uh, in Canada. I'm going to be going to Arlington. Might fly, might be on static. And then I got a bunch of shows down in Central America, Mexico, possibly Cuba. I'll be I'll be doing a lot of travel this year. Cool, um, cool. There's still a few things that are up in the air, no pun intended. But uh, I'll be all over the place this year. Okay. And why why the long easy? Out of all the planes out there, why the long easy? Of all the planes out there, when I was a kid, again, back when I was announcing my dad's show, I watched somebody do a routine in a long easy, uh, and as a kid, I thought it was so cool. It looked like a spaceship. It was a funky looking airplane, a little bit different, and I thought to myself, when I get older, I'm going to buy one of those and I'm going to start doing air shows. Got my license, trained up a little bit, did a little bit of aerobatic uh, training, and then I found myself a beautiful long easy and started developing my show. And now I'm here in Oshkosh. Living the dream. Living the dream. All right, if people want to follow your progress in your career, where can we go to follow you uh, and see where you're at? Uh, of course, absolutely. I mean, my social media, I'm on Instagram, uh, Go Easy Aerobatics on Facebook. It's Kyle Fowler with Go Easy Aerobatics. Uh, and then I've got my website, longeasy.ca. Um, but really, just just follow me on social media. Uh, Instagram's probably the best, and I'm, I'm always posting my stuff and what I'm working on. We've got a few, few uh, irons in the fire and a, a few things that we're going to test out, try to get things a little more exciting for the show and uh, make it uh, a little bit different every year. So who do you have currently sponsoring you on your, your team? Well, we, 
We've got a few guys that support me here. Uh, the big one, of course, is Aerosport Power. Those guys have really taken care of me. I had a, my old engine was a great engine. I had an old uh, uh, IO320. And Aerosport was kind enough to, so they built me up a brand new IO360 with state of the art fuel injection, electronic fuel injection, and electronic ignition from SDS. Uh, and the other, a couple other sponsors, I got Cato, they gave me a beautiful propeller that pushed me along just right for my airshow routine. And then 323 Composites, they did a whole bunch of fiberglass work on my airplane this last winter, cleaned up the airframe, made the airflow through the engine a lot more efficient, did a few things to make it a little bit better, and we painted it up, gave it a nice, uh, nice new look for this show year. And uh, right. yeah, it, it's going great. And of course, air, along with Aerosport comes Progressive Air and Pro Aero Aviation. And of course, one of my other sponsors is Lightspeed Aviation with their headsets. They're a beautiful headset. I, I need the, the active noise reduction with the flying I do. Uh, this airplane here, a regular old uh, headset, just does not cut it. Lightspeed Aviation. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. Thanks for taking the time to watch this episode today and learn a little bit more about Kyle Fowler and his and his business. I've got another unique, not tool, but a product this this episode from Wix Aircraft Supply. It's a, a high vis, high visibility, remove before flight streamer or pitot two cover, whatnot. As you can see, they're they're very, very reflective, very bright, an alternative to the age-old red streamers or remove before flight move before flight that you'd have of the of the past here check it out at wixaircraftsupply.com and um it's yellow so i thought it'd be you know a good time to bring this up with kyle's yellow airplane anyway check it out to all the current subscribers out there thank you so much for following along and help me build this channel if you haven't subscribed i invite you right now please go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that like button for this video and if you want a notification for future videos, that little bell notification. See you guys in the next episode. Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button.